I think we can all agree that in today's society, immigration is a big issue. And I'm going to inform you why America needs to be more open-minded toward immigration in the U.S. First of all, I'd like to tell you about my friend Kyle from back home. Um, I go to his house probably every week, and I call his, his mom my mom because we're that close. And she, at a very young age, came here from Peru because there was a lot of stuff going on there, and it was very dangerous. So her family brought her over here. And so in my life, that's how I have experienced the good part of immigration and how immigration can be a great thing because they're probably some of the best people I've ever met in my life. Some facts about immigration. As of 2012, there were over 40 million immigrants living in the United States. Of that of 40 million, 11.7 million of which are undocumented. Also, according to the Economic Policy Institute, immigrants account for 13% of the total U.S. population. Along with that, between 2000 and 2012, there was a 31.2% increase in the foreign-born population, which is millions of people. 11.6 um, of immigrants have a master's, professional, or doctorate degree, and the, the bias that people have and the stereotype is that immigrants are pretty much worthless. Like Donald Trump even talks about how they're just criminals, they don't do anything for us. But as you can see here, it, that's not true at all. And that 11.6 is compared to the 10.8% of native-born people that have that degree. So more immigrants, a higher percentage of immigrants have it than those actually born here. There are many positive effects on the economy. According to George Borges, a professor of economics at Harvard estimates that in the U.S., immigrant workers increased GDP by 11 percent. 11 percent adds up to adds up to around 11.7 trillion dollars. Um, also, according to the Center for Immigration Studies. Immigrants generate a surplus of 35 billion overall. Some negatives. Immigrants reduce native wages by 402 billion each year due to immigrants taking over jobs that normally native born would have. Uh, since 1996, immigrant households have created a net fiscal burden of between 11.4 billion and 20.2 billion each year. Uh, a fiscal burden is the amount taxpayers have to pay to compensate for those who have been taxed. The truth about the causes for deportation. Like I said before, Donald Trump has said things that basically saying that everyone that comes here are criminals. But in fact, only 59% have a criminal record of any kind. And for every 10 undocumented immigrants, only six have committed a crime. So for every 10, there's four people that are being called criminals, but they have done nothing wrong. Of all those deported, 33% have committed a felony, which is smaller than the amount of native born. Um, over 152,000 immigrants were deported in 2013 that had no criminal record. That was just in 2013. Millions of immigrants that come here are viewed as criminals that have no criminal record whatsoever. Uh, the truth about immigrants and taxes. It is believed that immigrants do not pay taxes and pretty much don't give any money back, but that's not true at all. Uh, undocumented immigrants pay an estimated 11.6 billion in state and local taxes each year. They pay an estimated 6.9 billion in sales tax and excise taxes, along with 3.6 billion in property taxes. This money includes medical bills, and jail costs. However, taxpayers in the U.S. pay upwards of $125 billion for immigrants that do not pay taxes. <coughs> like I said before, we have many stereotypes where we consider the few immigrants that are criminals, and we round it up to saying everybody is. So people un uneducated 
they, they think that, oh, every, everybody that comes here is bad if they're not born here. That's not true at all. There are many amazing people, including Kyle's parents. There are many amazing people, and I hope that listening to me today has opened your eyes and you can not have a biased opinion. You can look at it with an open mind. And don't let the few affect the